Yo guys, what's up? Welcome back to r slash I don't work here lady, where Karen steals chocolate milk and almost gets arrested by the police. If you are new around here, don't forget to subscribe because I upload daily content. And now, without any further ado, let's dive right into the stories. I don't work here and a venomous manager tried to write me up for it. Oh boy, I'm tired of being recognized. I live in a relatively small podunk college town with three grocery stores, a dying mall and a slightly decent downtown. Because I work in one of those grocery stores in a pharmacy, I'm often identified when I'm out and about and for some reason I just look like I work there, wherever this mythical there is. This took place a few years ago and since the manager is no longer with the store, I think I can write it up without retribution. I've got long hair, a beard and I'm a bit on a heavy side and I normally wear rock t-shirts and a leather biker jacket when I'm not at work. I wear this like armor as I'm actually very passive and I don't want to be bothered when I'm out and about. I look tough but there's nothing tough about my marshmallow soul. I have just finished watching a movie at our local dying mall, having gone myself since I just wanted to get away for a while and I'm currently wearing a Doctor Who hoodie and jeans, hair down and a Guns N' Roses t-shirt. As I am exiting the theater, I hear the dreaded voice, the entitled call of the snooty customer. Hey, hey you! I turn around and see your average soccer mom with bleach blonde hair and a purse big enough to brain a camel, carrying a large collection of trash. She is holding the trash with one hand, her struggling child with the other and stares at me pointedly. I don't want to believe what's about to happen, but I steal myself. Yes? Throw this away! No please, no asking, just a demand. I glance to a trash can that is only 5 feet from where she is standing. Why? Oh, you would think I had just offered to split her child in half in front of her with a broad sword. You work at that store, you're used to this. Amazing, she knows I don't work there, but she still thinks I'm put on this earth to serve her. I just roll my eyes and turn away, scooting towards the bathroom. Sorry ma'am, I gotta pee. And I do just that, taking a quick leak and a long time washing my hands. By the time I exit, the woman and her kid are gone. I figured that's all that's going to happen with this, just some entitled person who thinks I work in retail, she can just treat me like an indentured servant. Oh boy, was I wrong. Two days later, I'm back at work, cleaned up, hair in a ponytail, in uniform, just doing my thing, slinging drugs at the pharmacy. When one of our most hated managers shows up. Let's call her GLaDOS. Mostly cause the antagonist of Portal is how she has always seemed to me. Passive aggressive, snobby, more than happy to toss her weight around. OP, I had a complaint about you the other day from a customer. I sink down, trying not to shake with panic. What have I done? She says you were very rude to her at the movie theater the other day and refused to help her. Silence, I just blink a few times at GLaDOS. I'm sorry, what? GLaDOS repeats the accusation. When you work for this company, you represent us, even when you're not on the clock. Now, I'm only going to give you coaching, but I want you to watch what you do in the future. Me? No. GLaDOS looks back at me in shock. Did I just say no to her? What do you mean no? I said no. I'm not taking coaching for something that happened off the clock. I lean forward, folding my hands in my lap and glaring at her. Why are there no other managers here? Why is my pharmacy manager not here? Shouldn't he be here when I'm being coached by someone that is not even over my department? Speaking of which, where's your department manager? Could you show me where in the code of conduct handbook it says I cannot refuse to clean up after someone when I am not on the clock? Doesn't it say in the training videos we watch when we start not to work off the clock? GLaDOS is doing her best impression of a gaping fish by this point. Eyes wide and staring back at me. I don't think she was expecting the happy-go-lucky nerd in the pharmacy to take such a hard line and not just roll over to her casual bullying. I stood up and opened the door. If you want to take it up with my manager, please do. But do know that if I hear anything about this, I will take this all the way to the store manager, your boss. 
Corporate if I have to. I left shaking with anger. I had heard others in the store complain about this manager before and how she would try to toss her weight around, but I had never had it happen to me before and I don't know if the original customer was a friend of GLaDOS and she thought she would get some revenge, but I never heard anything else on the matter. Two months later, GLaDOS was let go in a store restructuring and every other manager was shifted or reassigned, but she was the only one to be shown the door. Guys, remember, the cake is a lie. If you got the reference, post some stars in the comments. Dump Broad took my chocolate milk. I was out at a local grocery, just doing a basic food run. While walking past the milk coolers, I grabbed the last two pint bottles of chocolate milk. As I let the door to the cooler close and put the bottles in my cart, I noticed a rather hefty woman standing a tad too close to me. As I start walking away, I hear her say, where are you taking those? Unaware she was talking to me, I kept walking. Next thing I know, my upper arm is grabbed and pulled. Now for reference, I'm about 6'2", built like a brick shithouse and generally a fairly bristly person. So I'm sure my demeanor did not help the situation. At first, I just sort of stared at her, almost surprised that she had the gall to act this way with a stranger that looks like I do. HW I said where are you taking those? Me? What? HW What are you doing with those chocolate milks? Me? Buying them? HW Okay well first off, lose the attitude and second, I'm sure you're supposed to let customers have them and not take them for yourself. Now at this point I will point out that it took me some time to realize that she thought I worked there. Because the uniform for this store is red shirts and khaki pants. I was wearing 10 pants, a red, white and blue flannel and a brown jacket. Me? What are you talking about? HW Those were the last two milks, give them to me. Me? Oh F off. I then walk away a few aisles down to look at soups. I step a few feet away from my cart so as not to block other people trying to come through the aisle when I see movement in my periphery. I figure it's her and decide it's best to just laser focus on the soup and ignore her. After waiting for a bit and sensing her leave, I go back to my cart and immediately notice my milks are gone. I am now in a sort of mood where the next person that talks to me could be Tom Hanks and I would probably be rude. I continue my shopping when the woman comes walking over with an employee, I'm assuming a manager. She shoves a one of her sausage fingers in my face and shouts about how This is the employee that took my groceries and told me to F off. I want him fired now. Now that I had realized what was going on, I just about lost it. Me? I don't effing work here, you moron. Manager? Whoa, hey now. HW? See what I mean? Fire him. Manager? Ma'am, he doesn't work here. HW? Then why did he say he did? Me? I didn't. HW? You would better watch your tone, my husband is. At this point the woman was cut off, though I'm genuinely curious as to what her husband was. An eggplant farmer? As big of a Karen as her? The world may never know. By another store employee. This one wearing a black shirt and khaki pants, although the shirt had the store logo on it. I believe he was their asset protection employee. AP Ma'am, may I look in your bag? HW What? No, why? Manager What's up, Greg? Not his real name, by the way. AP Was watching the monitors, saw her take something out of this guy's cart and put it in her bag. At this point, I start laughing. HW To me Screw you! To the employees I was going to pay, I just didn't want him trying to take them back. I start to walk up to the front so I can pay and leave. As I get there, I notice a couple local police officers walking in and an employee point them offer to the guy in the black shirt who is now walking the woman up front as well. As they walk past me towards a back office, I hear one of them explaining to the woman who is now in hysterics, yes ma'am, just hiding them in your purse constitutes retail fraud. I then left, wanting nothing more to do with this lady and moral of the story is, Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. If you have watched until here, please post some more stars in the comments to let me know that you enjoyed the video. Being rude for helping an old lady. Used to work as a retail manager at a mall. 
my name tag said my name store manager with no specific store logo. On my lunch break I went to another store to get some personal stuff. A sweet old lady stops me to ask for help finding something. I told her I don't work here, but since I come here often, I do actually happen to know where the item she's looking for is. We find the item and she needs some more help reading the label and making a decision. She is very sweet, so I stick around and help her. As I'm doing this, a Karen taps on my shoulder. Karen, you need to help me carry this. Very large and heavy home equipment to the cashier. Me? Oh sorry, I don't actually work here. Karen? What? But you're helping her. Me? Yeah, she just asked me for my help and... Karen? Well, I'm just asking for your help too. Don't be rude. You're the manager. You should help everyone the same. What kind of customer service is this? Me? I can find you someone to help you, who actually works here. Karen mumbles something about taking down my name and getting me fired. An actual employee finally appeared and dealt with her. So guys, that's all the content I have for you today. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I hope you have a fantastic day and I see you tomorrow.